Dr. Andrew Cornejo joins us now from Hazer Group to discuss all. Andrew, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. So first question is, can you please introduce us to Hazer Group, the company, and indeed the team? Tell us about your own illustrious technical background. Well, Hazer Group's a, a Perth-based company. Uh, we produce hydrogen and graphite with uh, very to low level emissions. Uh, essentially, what we do is we, we decompose methane or natural gas. We, we essentially break up the molecule into its separate entities. And this is done basically with a very cheap iron ore catalyst. And uh, that's the key enabler. In terms of the markets, um, it, it actually branches a quite a few number of markets, um, being, being two main commodities. They, they're used in a lot of different sectors. Hydrogen is used in the, in, the clean, in the clean hydrogen sector. It's more of an emerging market. It's also co got quite a large um, uh, industrial base in terms of a commodity for ammonia production. Hydrogen has it use in, in a number of different areas, including um, petrochemical refining, as well as ammonia production. Clean hydrogen has, has used in fuel cell vehicles, as well as uh, the emerging uh, power grid market. There's quite a few um, markets that we are addressing just from the hydrogen end alone, uh, not including the graphite end, which is actually quite, uh, quite large to begin with. Uh, graphite is quite a versatile a commodity it can be, it has a, a, a large variety of different properties and can be used in a lot of different areas and is currently used quite extensively. About three, uh, three million tonnes a year is used in graphite alone. Um, our process is quite novel in the sense that um, you, can, you can change the properties of the graphite quite extensively just by changing the process conditions. Uh, and that, in that way, we, we hope to, to be able to tailor the graphite for specific requirements, both, both in the immediate market, but also maybe blue sky opportunities. Because we have a, a unique position in, in having that variability on the, on the graphite properties um, and a potential lower cost. Because we have Hazer Group's Andrew Cornejo joins us now from the Perth studio. Andrew, lovely to see you again. Hi there, thanks for having me. So your recent pilot plant testing results were pretty outstanding, exceeding targets by 300%. Tell us all about this. Yeah, so we were pretty impressed with these results, um, so much so that we ended up renaming the pre-pilot plant to a pilot plant, which more accurately reflects the capacity, but is also more in line with industry standards. Uh, but the main the main purpose of the test was obviously technical validation as we progress through the scale up stages towards commercialization. Um, and the results were really good. So we had 30 kilograms per day of graphite and eight kilograms per day of hydrogen, which is, is really quite impressive for the scale that we're at. This is my hometown, Portland. Not many people have heard of Portland because it's basically on the edge of the world. It's five hours from Melbourne, six hours from Adelaide. It's not very big, with only about 8,000 people, two sets of traffic lights, two high schools, one tram, and no core advantages. In town here in Portland, things are pretty chill. Portland's main industry is the aluminium smelter, which has its own power line direct from Geelong. But by far the most visible industry in Portland is the port. Portland Harbour is the only deep water port between Adelaide and Melbourne. And it's very close to the shipping lanes because it's right out on the point. Mainly wood chips and aluminium now though. And if the power price goes up till now, high there'll be no more aluminium world's biggest wood chip pile. It is actually the biggest exporting port in the world now for hardwood. 